Eight months after finding a mountain lion in a Bourbon County tree, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife leaders say they have closed their investigation on the matter. They say they shot and killed the animal in the interest of public safety. So where did the mountain lion even come from? As Monique Blair tells us, there are still unanswered questions. Chases something up a tree, which I thought was probably a squirrel or a raccoon. Last December, Aurora Rubel was out on her farm with her dog. When she saw something, she'll never forget. I was on the back side of the tree. These great big paws come around about 30 feet off the ground. About 30 minutes later, a Department of Fish and Wildlife officer showed up to Rubel's farm. As soon as he saw it in a tree, you know, he did shoot, shoot it. Again. The officer shot the mountain lion twice, killing it. Now, eight months later, officials say they still don't know how the five year old lion came to Kentucky, but they do know it did not come here on its own because they say typically they would have had several people call to report seeing the lion, and they did not have any of those reported sightings. All evidence points to the fact that this was a released captive animal. There, there was not a lot of uh, chipped teeth or claws. You know, it was in relatively good shape, didn't have a lot of scarring on the, the animal either. Officials say they defend the officer who shot the lion. The officer acted appropriately um, because the time of day that the animal was treed, it was 30 minutes before dark. It was near a neighborhood with, with kids and pets and other people. And because the animal was immediately believed to have been held in captivity, officials say it posed a greater danger to the community. Animals that have been held in captivity, they're much more dangerous than a wild mountain lion because they lose their fear of humans. In Franklin County, Monique Blair, WKYT. Investigators say they looked at the woman who found the lion as a possible owner of it, but they say the investigation found that she should not face any charges.